So before we describe how to use the tag section, let's just analyze this website to see how they are using section in their website. Okay, first you click on inspect, then you click on this icon right here to reduce the size a little bit to 50%. Okay, let's just find how this website is using the section tag. So for that, I type command F and I have the search right here. Then I'll type section tag and I have as a result five sections. And if I highlight the first section, it is used for the last articles. So any last articles will be grouped into this section. Let's just move to the next one by clicking on enter again on the search bar. And I have the next one, which is used to group the content of the current conference. Click enter again to move to the third section. And what this section is grouping as content is regrouping the community links. And we have a title that describes that this is a community link. And all of this content within this section is about the community links. Okay, let's just move to the next one. It is used for the future of the book. The next one again it is used also. So this is the last section, which is the last one. So I have five from five this is the latest one it is used for the curated pass and if we take a look from all of the sections so you'll find out that we have a title so we have here a title the first one in any section we have a title okay let's just move to the other one so the title or the heading of each section is just defining the context of this section which means that we are organizing this document in sections in order to give context for each part of the document but the question is why we are not using another tag rather on this section right here to group this content within this future book in another tag for example a book tag instead of this section so because we don't have this html tag book and this is why we are using the section tag to represent a generic section of a document or to represent a standalone section which doesn't have a more specific semantic element to represent it after we saw how the section tag is used in a real project let's just now move to the code okay i'll just open this html over to the left so let's just move this code save that okay we'll add the section tag section then each section tag should be identified by including a heading from h1 to h6 okay we'll go for the h1 then i'll i'll name it heading then depending on the content you want to include within the section i'll go for a paragraph but i'm sure that you're asking yourself that this section right here is similar to article okay let's just move to smashingmagazine.com again okay let's just put it in the full size what do I have here at the top of the website is an article and this article is wrapping the content of the article. So I don't have to use instead of this article tag, a section tag because the context is not the same. So, but for the other context here, I have the current conference or I have the conference. So I don't have any conference tag when I need to wrap all of the content within a conference tag. So this is why in this case, I'm using section tag, which is used to create a generic section of a document. So keep that in mind, it depends on the context. And it also depends on the type of content you are wrapping. If you have a forum post or if you have a blog article, in this case, you will use the article tag instead of section. But if you have a specific content that you want to just wrap inside the generic section, so in this case, you will use the section tag instead of article. So I'm sure that you can be a little bit confused, but even for experienced web designers, so they still have the confusion between where to use section tag or article tag. And to avoid this confusion, once you have a piece of content that you need to group ask yourself what is this type of content if it is an article just group all of that within an article tag but in some other cases if this piece of content is something that's rather than an article you can in this case use the section tag instead of the article tag